great to be here again. I've been with SnapLogic now for eight and a half years. We have been around as a company since 2006, and we've grown to over 200 people worldwide with offices across the US, Europe, and Asia. One of the important things is that 1.3 trillion documents a month that traverses our platform. What we are providing today is the SnapLogic Intelligent Integration Platform. We are a platform that delivers a whole host of different application styles, whether it's application, data integration, data engineering, data science, as well as the uh, slightly adjacent capabilities of API management and B2B integration in a single unified platform. We have a single user interface that addresses the needs of multiple different personas, right the way through from the integration specialist to the other end of the scale, uh, the citizen integrator or you know, the, the people in the lines of business who are integrating for their job as opposed to supplement what they're doing already with the applications and things that they're working with. And importantly for any enterprise today, yes, we're a SaaS platform, but our customers' data is in all sorts of different places. It may be in databases on-premise, it may be in cloud-based applications, and many of the, the, the different things in between. All of that with that enterprise grade stability and uh, enterprise uh, thought process going into it. The SnapLogic IIP, the Intelligent Integration Platform, SaaS application manifests through a web browser, so there is no software to install when you use SnapLogic. You can, in fact, sign up for a trial directly on our website and get access to SnapLogic within minutes. And that basically then gives you, through your web browser, the ability to, using the designer, define integration tasks, access endpoints, do all of that without having to install anything. Dashboard is for monitoring the telemetry of what's going on and the manager for the administration of the different artifacts that actually go to build up your infrastructure. The execution of anything that you do is in the SnapPlex. And the SnapPlex may either be in the cloud or in the customer's domain. Almost all of our customers have some form of GroundPlex where they're running in their local environment. Because if you're running a GroundPlex, you have local access to your applications and data, wherever those endpoints may be. The GroundPlex can obviously access applications running in the cloud, as well as those on the ground. The CloudPlex in general will only have access to those things which are publicly available on the internet. When we access data, that's done through our SNAP. But the SNAPs give us uh, the access to the different applications and data, as well as providing the transformations and the different things that you're going to want to do with that data along the way. We've got over 500 of those pre-built out of the box that customers can use, and that's all of the major data and uh, enterprise applications that people generally have. Indeed, customers can build their own SNAP using our Java SDK. We try and address all of the different needs of the different users, and we have functionality within the platform for each of those different areas. We're about moving the data. So you define in your uh, pipelines what the endpoints are going to be, and we will, we will provide movement and transformation to get it between those different endpoints. We don't, by default, store the data ourselves at all. So the, the pipelines that customers build tend to be between eight and 20 snaps or so, and they can then run those pipelines manually through the user interface 
There is a scheduler that is built in. We can expose any pipeline or task as an API, so as a URL that they can call. Ultimately, with SnapLogic, we're looking to be able to say, provide me the integration across my enterprise. 